should say that uh, Martin Kilcoin does not have David Mustaine from Megadeth on his show today. <laughs> Um, so Martin Kilcoin's going to have to sit that one out. However, Martin Kilcoin does, as you mentioned, Bill DeWitt Jr., uh -huh. which is the president. He's the dad. Uh -huh. um, not not the president. I'm sorry, not the president of the Cardinals. That's Bill DeWitt the third. Bill DeWitt Jr. is the general, is the uh, head owner, if you will. Yeah, he's going to have the third on. R no, he's going to have the second on. Oh, really? Yeah. I, just, I said the third. Oh, well, he's going to have the second on. Oh. Maybe he's going to have the second and the third. But I just got a text from Martin. Okay. Uh, Danny Mac. He's going to have Danny Mac on, voice of the uh, Cardinals, mm -hmm. uh, and Bill DeWitt Jr. Okay. Who was a, listen to this, who was a bat boy for the St. Louis Browns, and there's a picture of him in a St. Louis Browns uniform as a little boy, and Babe Ruth's giving him a bat. Get out. Yeah. Then somebody ran to the store, got the got the picture developed, and then brought it back and had Babe Ruth sign it that day. Boy, they were fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty special that picture. Is very cool. It's a neat picture. Yeah. Uh, Martin should ask him about it. But Bill DeWitt uh, Jr. and then uh, Danny Mack on the show today for uh, opening day for uh, Martin is, Kilcoin. Is John Carney a big Megadeth fan? I'm just curious to have um Well, I've, heard his, I've heard his show. He's died a bunch of times, so <laughs> his show is one big mega dead. <laughs> oh, no. See what I did there? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gail Pennington joins us, and she's always the life of the party. Good morning, Gail Pennington, TV critic with STLToday.com. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Here. Good morning. Waiting through, waiting through your trying to figure out which to win is which. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, we've it's got. Hard. It is hard. Happy, it is happy opening day. I'm so uh, excited. Happy opening day to you. Trying to right. trying to explain that to Deb Peterson over the years has always been interesting. No, the right. junior is real. When I say junior, you're thinking the kid, but the junior is really the dad. Well, I'm who, not because I refer to the third as Billy. Bill, right? Billy and uh, Bill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Um, breaking news this this morning. Did you see this? Yes, which? Josh Elliott leaving Good Morning America. And I still don't know who he is. I turned on this morning, and isn't George Stephanopoulos the anchor of that show? Yes. Josh is the newsreader. Well, then he he was really silly to think they were going to give him $8 million, wasn't he? It's kind of what I thought. He kind of mm -hmm. was born on third base thinking he hit a triple. Whatever he's making, he should get down on his knees and thank God he's <laughs> he's making it and just be quiet. You're absolutely right. So now he's leaving to go to NBC Sports. And I'm sure, boy, NBC is just so happy about that because, you know, GMA has been leading the way in the morning news. Well, do you think that NBC may be putting him in the farm system so they they will have him if Matt Lauer leaves, I don't, for example? I, I, I don't. Now, doing this show, I don't get a chance to see Good Morning America as much as other people maybe might. But... I, I, no one has ever mentioned to me, boy, did you hear what Josh Josh Elliott had to say? Whatever the guy's name is. Josh Gilbert? Josh I just wanted Elliott. to call him Josh Hutcherson, who is, I think is in the Hunger Games. So, so, I mean, I don't know if people are tuning in to, to hear his witty repartee with Laura Spencer. Mm -hmm. right? I find a new big contract. Yeah, I so. just think it's the team, all of them together. And I have watched him, and he, he's good. Yeah. He's right. very good. Well, all right. More, more importantly, anyway, um, it's the end of How I Met Your Mother tonight. Finally, tonight, the one-hour finale, series finale of How I Met Your Mother. They're going to fill in all those questions about the Ted and the mother that, that have been hanging for nine seasons. I, I'm still confused over this show. I don't really quite get the, uh, the premise. He's been explaining to his kid for nine years how he met his mother? How he met their mother. Right. But they've had, like, and, and so the whole show is su supposed to have been a flashback? Yes. Well, yes. Uh, he's explaining it to the kids in 2030. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. oh. Right. And the final scene with the kids, they had to shoot years and years and years ago. But, of course, because, of course, in nine years, the kids are grown up so much, they're not even recognizable. So, so they shot the last scene years ago? They, la they shot the last scene with Ted and the kids. And I don't know what's in it. I don't know whether it has any giveaway stuff in it. Right. Hmm. But they shot it years ago? Yeah. And they're going to air it tonight? Yes. They shot it like in uh, 2005. That is... That's kind of cool. It so is. The kids will still be the same. So the kids will still be the same age. So they opened the show like, okay, so you want to know how I met your mom. And, and then they went on with the show. 
Then they film the end, and so all those kids are now 11 years older? Yeah, nine years older, yeah. Do we know who the kids were or are? Oh, we don't care. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Gail, how do you think a show, I mean, and, and it's been pretty consistent in the ratings, right? How's a show with this premise lasted so long? I, I um, actually pondered that on, in a story on Sunday, and I don't really know. When, I, when it was starting off, I thought it was really a funny show, and I liked the way the friends interacted and, and Neil Patrick Harris is very funny as the Barney character but I said to, to myself they're making a terrible mistake keeping this question of who the mother is hanging all this time but apparently people loved it and that's why they tuned in for nine years and so. also no one's left the cast right it's the same cast all these yeah, years no it's the same cast they've had people come and go w that everyone dated right uh, you know, the but, love interests have come and gone. It, but the guy telling the story, who's 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 the guy telling the uh, the story? Josh Radner. Okay, he's the guy who can't find a date, always has a hard time dating, right? He's yes, the one uh -huh. who always sits and complains that he can't find anybody, right? That's right. The, yeah. Um, but but has has he been dating anybody these years? Oh yes, he dated a lot of people, and he always was in love with Robin, the other main character, who's played by Kobe Smulders. Right. And they finally had to realize they weren't right for each other. And she actually married Neil Patrick Harris's character last week. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so because Neil Patrick Harris was the, he was the cad, if you will. He was mm -hmm. the cad, yes. He, he was the heartbreaker. He had a lot of women. I also find it interesting. It's, it's got to be a groundbreaking show because here you have an openly gay person in Neil Patrick Harris playing a, a womanizer on television. That has to be an interesting juxtaposition. I don't think he was openly gay nine years ago. No. Oh. Okay. Mm. Um, I think it sort of, that, that it, it came out in between the, right. the nine years the show was on. I mean, it never really hurt his character, right? People can still it, identify. It never him. hurt his character, and I think it was sort of groundbreaking for that. Yeah, no, I agree. That it's people a... like him so much that they just didn't care. He's a great song and dance man, that's, mm -hmm. that's for sure. And he's the best host there ever has been since... He really is. ...since Billy Crystal and all those other guys. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is going on this week? Well, they, CBS is introducing a new show called Friends with Better Lives, and it will follow the How I Met Your Mother finale, and it's really pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's about a bunch of spoiled, selfish people who all think that all their friends have it better than they do. You know, the married ones envy the single ones, and the ones without a baby envy the ones with a baby, and the ones with a baby envy the ones that can go out anytime they want. But the show does star Brooklyn Decker. And, it, and James Vanderbeek, who was in uh, Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, which was a hilarious show in which he played himself. Oh, mm. that show didn't uh, last, did it? It didn't last at all, no, but I thought it was really funny. Yeah. Uh, so what do I know, huh? Yeah, well, you know quite a bit. Anything else we should pay attention to? Uh, the Mindy Project comes back Tuesday. Unforgettable comes back Friday. And Raising Hope airs its last episode on Friday on Fox. Uh, uh, and then uh, Game of Thrones. Are you watching? Are you paying attention oh, to that? I have three episodes, and I have not had time to sit down and give them the proper respect they are due. But I will be watching them and writing about them for Sunday. What about Mad Men? That's coming back here soon, too, isn't it's, it? It's um, a week from Two weeks from yesterday, it's on April 13th, and I've seen the first hour. And? It's really, really good. Ooh. And this is it, right? This is the last one. No, they're going to be seven, and then they're going to break, and then next year at this time there will be the final seven. And why do they do that, Gail? I hate that. To they... keep it around longer. But you forget about it, and then, well, then you want to. Oh, I never forget about Mad Men. Uh, actually, I got a thing on my phone that said that Netflix just added the sixth season to Netflix, so if you're Jones and you can go back and watch last season to get up to speed for this season. It was surprising to me that when I started watching it, how much I remembered of of where we left off. You can't tell us anything about it, can you? I can't tell you a single thing, or <sighs> Matthew Weiner would come to my door and cut my head off. Uh, but uh, John Hamm showed up on um, Saturday Night Live Saturday night. He did? Yeah. He just he sort of popped in. I totally missed it. And it was Leah Dunham was the host. Was that yeah. a new episode was that oh i don't know i woke up i fell asleep at like nine and then I woke was up at new? like 11 andrew oh uh, was well then i don't know 
I woke up at some point, <laughs> some point over the weekend, and my television was on, and Leah Dunham was hosting Saturday Night That's Live. It's really and, scary to wake up and have Leah Dunham on your TV, isn't it? And John Hamm showed up, yeah. So, right. or, 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 or maybe it was just a nightmare. <laughs> uh, Gail, when can we read you? When can we see you? I'll be in the Friday Ghost section writing about a new documentary on the Civil War that's really good and also the new AMC series Turn that's about the Revolutionary War. Mm. And then I'll be in Sunday A&E, and I'll have a live chat on Thursday. That's Gail Pennington. Uh, looking forward to How I Met Your Mother tonight, 7 p.m. on uh, CBS. Gail, thanks for checking in. Have a good week. We'll talk to you next Monday. Thanks, guys. 8.30, Big 550, K.